Is locking employees in at the end of the night permitted? Title says it. Among management being passive aggressive and pushy. At the end of the night. Retail. The front doors get locked and recovery happens. Typically recovery is done within half an hour but management waits another hour. Sometimes more. Before unlocking the doors and permitting anyone to leave. Fire escapes are still accessible and also that isn't my concern. But holding employees after work is complete? How would one approach this? I work this job part-time and have to be at my day job the next morning at 6. When I was hired I was told the latest I would have to stay was 9. But usually closer to 8.30. Recovery is usually done by 8.30 p.m. Close at 8 but constantly getting held until 9 to 3010 is pissing me off and doesn't seem ethical. Please advise. If you are paid to stay and can get out in emergency doesn't seem like you can do much except look for another job. Most retail places lock because they don't want to get robbed. If you haven't been robbed on the job at a mall job let me tell you. It's brutal the paperwork at mall properties will stretch on a thousand miles into your future like a bureaucratic dull paperwork nightmare. If they are paying you and the store isn't ready, I mean you're still on the clock bro. Ask them if you can clock out and leave or talk to your manager. If they won't let you out, leave by the fire exit and let the mall property folks. The ones who will now put your managers through the white paper hell I described above. No they refuse to let you leave. When I worked at Home Depot they did this. Until a few of us threatened to call the cops. It stopped. We received a talking to which went nowhere. I stopped working there a little while after. If you are not paid for that time, it is wage theft and a lawyer needs to be consulted. Immediately. If there is nothing left to do. Sit down and stare at them. If they tell you to face something, say, done, and keep staring. No, Best Buy did that to our closing shift a few years ago. Basically, we all got locked in. After clocking out, for over an hour and the manager who was supposed to let us out was on a power trip and not. Responding to her walkie, after an especially late night where we threatened to call emergency services if we weren't let out. We all decided we weren't going to clock out until we saw her coming up to unlock the doors. This tardy behavior lasted maybe one pay period before the higher up offices noticed that people. Who usually clocked out at 9.30 were all of a sudden clocking out at 11 or later. We explained to the store manager that we knew they couldn't keep us there unpaid. This tardy manager was all of a sudden right there to let us out every night right at 9.30. Walk out of the fire escape doors if you're not getting paid to be there. That or directly tell management to let you out of the building. Use the fire escape exit. They can't keep you there. If you're staying past your scheduled time then yeah that's not cool but if you're scheduled I don't think it's a big deal. Doors have to be locked so customers don't come in I'm assuming. If you think the place is recovered enough but they're not letting you go and telling you to keep busy then that's just tough luck. Tell them you are leaving and to unlock the door. Didn't Costco get their ass handed to them via class action for this illegal activity? Retail workers really go through so much for so little pay. I think it's unnecessary and illegal. I'd talk to management and let them know your availability requires you to be out at the 8.30 time. If they don't let you leave, time to find a new job. I remember those retail days. You get to feeling like a hostage locked in the store. Read your company policy to see what it says about working past your scheduled shift. Our policy said something to the effect of, you may be required to stay past your shift in order to complete store recovery. 
Checking yours will give you an idea of expectations on closing shift. Hopefully it'll be something in your favor. I'd threaten to call the cops or start getting violent if they didn't GTFO the way. Use the fire doors. If they set off the alarm say you were panicking cause you couldn't get out. I worked at a Barnes & Noble a long time ago and when I worked the closing shift the rule was that everyone left at the same time. We closed at 11 p.m. Locked the doors. It was still possible to get out through the fire escape doors. And I was usually done with my cleanup by 11.30. And I could choose to sit there and do what I wanted. It was pre-smartphone but I could read any book or magazine I wanted. But I usually helped out others with their sections. Almost always we were out of there by midnight. But sometimes after an event we would stay later. In the Harry Potter era we would release the book at 12 a.m. And there would be hundreds of kids there dressed up and whatnot. Sometimes we didn't get out of there until after 3 a.m. But everyone who worked the release events did so knowing that it was kind of open-ended. Also, most people seemed to prefer it that way because they didn't want to walk through an empty parking lot alone and the group all leaving at the same time provided a sense of security. They lock the doors because the store is closed bro, not to keep you trapped. Have you tried leaving before and they stopped you? Or are they just telling you they won't unlock the door until everything is done? I recall a post about an employee who was asked to stay late, but he had a bus to catch and staying so late would make him miss his bus home. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.